Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Physics Prince. My name is Deepak. I'm going to teach you all nine subjects of physical science in detail. My courses are absolutely free of charges. My courses are going to help the students who are preparing for CSIR NET GATE and the exam, PhD exam, SET exam, TIFR guest, IIT jam and other exams related, related to physical science. Okay, so this is the lecture number 21 of quantum mechanics, okay, and in which uh, I'm going to discuss a variational uh, method, okay, and also I would request uh, the students who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and watch my free live classes, which are going to help uh, you to crack the exams related to physical science, okay. So, I'm going to start now. Vari uh, variational method, okay? Variational method. Very important, guys. You, you will get questions of five marks in CSIR net, okay? So, variational method. <coughs> Okay, uh, before uh, taking classes, let me just check uh, whether I am audible or not. Very important guys, you, you will get this. Uh, I am audible, so I will proceed further, okay. Okay. <coughs> Variational method is approximate method, okay. It is approximate, it is approximate method, okay. And uh, we have been, uh, we will get trial function, okay. Trial B function. So, I am just telling you the procedure. So, we will get the trial wave function, okay. That would be psi equal to psi, which is function of x, okay. And, uh, and there would be the uh, variational parameter alpha, that is variational parameter, variational, variational parameter, variational parameter. Okay, alpha that is variational parameter. Okay, alpha is variational parameter. <coughs> okay, and uh, alpha is such that alpha is such that e equal to e minimum. Okay, e equal to e minimum. Alpha is such that E equal to E minimum. Okay. Well, and uh, the energy uh, expectation value we will get that we know that is psi E psi upon psi psi psi. Okay. So uh, this is the <coughs> this is how we we'll get expectation value of energy. Okay. This we know already. Okay. So I, I will solve the question, then it will clear it out, okay. So this is one. So it's a, it is an approximate method. Trial wave function will be given in the, uh, in the, in the question, okay. And there would be, <coughs> there will be variational parameter and that will be uh, such that, that uh, E will, E will, E, e equal to E minimum, okay. Uh, and, uh, and for that, for getting parameter, uh, variation will do, that is, uh, del E upon del alpha equal to 0, okay. And by that, we will, will uh, for getting a value of alpha, which is variational parameter, what we are going to do is, we will get E and then we will differentiate uh, that uh, expectation value of E with respect to alpha and we will make it equal to 0 and we will get the value of alpha. Then we will put the value of alpha uh, in, the, in the expression of uh, energy, right. And we get the required energy. 
okay so i will solve one question then uh, uh, it, it is going to clear your all doubts okay so this is about the variational uh, method and uh, this also know that uh, uh, <coughs> trial wave function should be symmetric okay that is very important trial wave function trial wave function trial wave function should be symmetric okay should be symmetric trial wave function should be symmetric okay okay so that that we know right uh, that is uh, And also, this we know if v x equal to uh, v minus x, that implies we have we have given symmetric potential. Okay, symmetric potential. Okay, if if this condition gets satisfied, then we have uh, that is this one. Okay. So this is about the variational uh, method, guys. Now I will solve question. Okay, question is, and uh, question is, uh, the find out, find out ground state energy, GSE. Uh, we can say in short. Okay, ground state energy of 1d harmonic oscillator using 1d harmonic oscillator using uh, variational method okay using variational method okay with With trial wave function, which is given that is psi x equal to e to the power minus alpha x square. Okay, so this is uh, given. Okay, so find out ground state energy of one d harmonic oscillator. Okay, we need to find out the ground state energy of one d harmonic oscillator using variational uh, method uh, with trial function, which is given psi x equal to e to the power minus alpha x square. Okay, so we know uh, the the ground state energy of uh, 1d harmonic oscillator right that is half x cut omega right we know and now we have we, we are going to find this value by uh, variational method okay so i would request you uh, pay attention carefully okay so that uh, you will be easily understand the variational method okay how to use it <coughs> how to apply variational method okay so first uh, we have been given wave function okay this is the wave function okay psi equal to or psi x equal to e to the power minus alpha x square okay so first uh, our work is to normalize the wave function okay it is important then it will it is going to make our calculation easy okay so we'll normalize this wave function and we know how to normalize it right integration minus infinity to plus infinity psi star x into psi x dx equal to 1 right that is normalization normalization of wave function normalization of wave function right okay so now what we are going to do is we will put the value okay so this is going to be minus infinity to plus infinity e to the uh, power so there is a right uh, yeah, a is also given is okay so we have to normalize it 
so this is going to be a a that is mod a square okay because uh, this is real function so psi star value is also going to be the same so mod a square mod a square and this is e to the power minus 2 alpha x square e to the power minus alpha x square into e to the power minus alpha x square is going to be e to the power 2 alpha x square right because we have psi is this and uh, that implies because it's a real function so that implies psi star x is also a e to the power minus alpha x square right so we have put the value here so this value is going to be 1 okay so mod a square will be out okay and this is going to be minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus 2 alpha x square uh, dx equal to 1 okay <coughs> okay right so now uh, we'll uh, so uh, so we know this value right and we have uh, this one i will tell you the formula so there are two formulas which i'm going to write to you the first one is you need to note down e to the power minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus uh, alpha x square dx okay this value is always root pi by alpha okay you need to note down so uh, so here so this value is going to be mod a square and here uh, the alpha is minus 2 alpha right alpha is 2 alpha right so a square and this is going to be pi by 2 alpha okay and equal to 1 this implies value of a is going to be uh, 2 alpha upon pi to the power 1 by 4 okay this is the value of this next next uh, we will find because for that we, we know the uh, Hamiltonian for 1D harmonic oscillator right so 1D harmonic oscillator okay and Hamiltonian for it okay. so for 1D harmonic oscillator this Hamiltonian is going to be Px square upon 2m plus half m omega square right so uh, so this is the kinetic energy this is the potential energy half omega square x square right so this is the uh, kinetic energy and this is potential energy and kinetic energy is uh, denoted by t and potential energy is denoted by v right so first we will find so so from here we know that energy energy is energy is total energy is going to be kinetic energy plus potential energy okay so we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll get kinetic energy and potential energy separately then uh, the calculation will be easy okay so we'll find t potential energy okay so this is going to be integration psi star and uh, psi square that is p square okay p square upon 2m right so this is going to be uh, this is going to be minus h cut square upon 2m this value okay the operator one okay so kinetic energy so h cut square upon 2m into psi dx right so but now it is going to be we will take uh, minus h cut square upon 2m common right Because value of p we know right minus i h cut del upon del x right so from there we've got this value 2m is already there okay so this is going to be integration and we will put the value so e to the power so this is going to be and uh, here is one this is going to be 
this one and uh, operator value right this is del square upon del x square psi dx right so this is going to be e to the power and this we will know this value right psi value so this is going to be uh, mod a square okay this psi psi okay and this is the value of psi is e to the power minus alpha x square into this one uh, del square upon del x square and this value is uh, this is uh, e to the power minus alpha x square right dx so value of t is going to be So now what we, we can do is for making our calculation easy, we can solve this part first, okay? So that uh, and then uh, we'll put value here, okay? So this is going to be d upon dx, okay? D upon dx, and that is going to be d psi upon dx. First we will find, okay? D psi upon dx means this one. Uh, d upon dx e to the power minus alpha x square right so we'll uh, we'll differentiate it so this is going to be minus alpha okay so we can different like this okay so this is going to be e to the power minus alpha x square into we'll differentiate again this we have put it this uh, minus alpha x square t right so e to the power t uh, then uh, in uh, differentiation of alpha x square with respect to x so this is going to be minus 2 alpha x one time differentiation right now we we'll differentiate differentiate second time so del 2 psi upon del s x square or del uh, will del upon del x e to the power minus alpha x square into minus 2 alpha x square right so this is going to be this is going to be minus 2 alpha we can take common okay and this is going to be first function right for first function e to the power minus alpha x square okay so yeah we can do like this so this is going to be we'll take this so this is going to be first function e to the power minus alpha x square and integral differentiation of second is 1 plus second function differentiation of this is going to be uh, minus 2 alpha we have taken common okay uh, then we have taken this common so this is x is all, all also already there x is there so this is going to be first function as it is then differentiation of second is going to be this is uh, minus 2 alpha and uh, 2 alpha x 2 alpha x e to the power minus alpha x square right this is the value so this this value is going to be this value is going to be minus 2 alpha we have taken common okay so this is and uh, yeah this we have taken common and here a a is already there right so this is going to be minus 2 alpha and uh, e to the power alpha x square will take common okay so this is e to the power minus alpha x square and this value is going to be 1 minus 2 alpha x okay 1 minus 2 alpha x square because x is also there right so x square right we'll put this value this value that is uh, this value In this equation one okay so this is going to be kinetic energy is going to be this is little bit lengthy but you need to understand it it's simple guys okay so this is going to be this one integration minus infinity to plus infinity okay so this is going to be Uh, minus h cut square upon 2m okay minus h cut square upon 2m so 2 alpha this we, we will take common right so this one 
this to alpha. So this is going to be and a is all, all, also there mod a square. So this is going to be minus uh, minus 2 alpha, right? Minus 2 alpha mod a square, okay? And this this and then in then, then this is going to be integration minus infinity to plus infinity and this is going to be e to the power uh, e to the power minus uh, it is going to be e to the power minus this one okay this will put this value here e to the power x square is already there so it is going to be e to the power minus 2 alpha x square e to the power minus 2 x uh, alpha x square minus 2 uh, alpha x square e to the power minus 2 alpha x square dx okay because you can see here right e to the power alpha x square is already there right we have uh, we have multiplied this that with this okay so this is the value okay so now this is going to be minus h cut square upon 2m minus minus plus okay this is 2 alpha mod a square integration minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus alpha x square 2 alpha x square right and this is going to be minus 2 alpha will take common and integration minus infinity to plus infinity x square e to the power minus alpha x square dx this is 2 alpha x square guys okay e to the power 2 alpha x square okay this is the one so now i'm going to write a formula this formula first formula i, I have already written minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus alpha x square dx is equal to pi by alpha alpha can be any value of constant okay second uh, formula is very important this is you need to note down okay so it's integration integration minus infinity to plus infinity x to the power n e to the power minus a x square okay or i can write b x square here yeah, there wouldn't be any translation okay b x square okay b x square x to the power n b x square if we have this type of value b x okay so this value is going to be very simple or uh, this value is going to be uh, gamma n plus 1 by 2 okay upon this value b this b to the power n plus 1 by 2 gamma n by 1, one plus, yeah, this is not okay so gamma this is gamma guys okay This is gamma okay gamma n plus 1 by 2 upon b this constant n plus 1 by 2 or this we can also write in this form as well this is integration 0 to infinity okay integration 0 to infinity x to the power n uh, b uh, e to the power apology this is uh, e to the power minus b x square dx this is going to be 1 by 2 gamma n plus 1 by 2 upon b to the power n plus 1 by 2 okay so this is very important this is very important formula guys you need to note down because here we are going to use this formula okay uh, x to the power this right so we are going to use it so now for the this value is going to be t this is going to be okay this value is going to be h cut square upon 2m okay mod that is a uh, we can write 2 alpha 2 alpha okay 2 h cut alpha because here right I uh, multiply 2 alpha h cut alpha and mod a square mod a square okay 
and this is going to be now we'll just put the value okay this integration right we know that is uh, root pi upon 2 alpha right pi upon root pi upon 2 alpha right this is e to the power e to the power minus 2 alpha x square right this is beta x square you can say beta equal to 2 alpha right so this value this is already i have explained here this one okay uh, pi by alpha root pi by alpha so here alpha is 2 alpha pi by a right so this one and uh, minus 2 alpha is already there yeah 2 alpha and this integration is going to be this is gamma 2 uh, x to the power 2 gamma 2 plus 1 by 2 gamma 2 plus 1 by 2 gamma 2 plus 1 by 2 upon uh, beta to the power means uh, this constant is 2 alpha 2 alpha to the power 2 alpha to the power uh, that is alpha plus 1 means uh, 2 plus 1 by 2 and this is 2 plus 1 by 2 right because x to the power 2 I have used this form very important formula guys you need to note down else the integration is very good integration is going to be very uh, lengthy guys okay just give me one minute guys okay this summation Okay, so so now the value is going to be this, right? This is it's a lengthy calculation. Okay, so this one alpha upon two m. This value I'm going to put. Okay, so this is uh, alpha uh, mod a square value is uh, because a value we, I have already uh, taken that is two alpha upon pi to the power. This one I'll show you. This one I'm not normalized, right? So 2 alpha upon pi to the power 1 by 4. Mod a square is going to be 2 alpha upon pi to the power 1 by 2. Okay. So this is going to be root 2 alpha upon pi into root alpha uh, pi upon alpha minus 2 alpha. This is going to be gamma. 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2 is 1 by 2 into root pi right we know gamma 3 by 2 equal to 1 by 2 into root pi okay this is gamma and uh, this is going to be 2 alpha 2 alpha to the power 3 by 2 okay so we'll solve it and a very simple calculation so value of p is going to be uh, uh, P is going to be alpha h cut square upon 2m right okay now we'll find this is the, uh, the this is the kinetic energy right now we'll find potential energy right okay that is we'll find v so v is going to be similar simple 1 upon m omega square minus infinity to plus infinity and uh, this is psi star and this is going to be x square m omega x square right x square is the operator it will uh, remain inside the integration and this is the constant we'll take outside um, and this is going to be psi dx right so potential energy is going to be then we'll put the value mod a square because psi value is mod a square upon 2 m omega square right so this is going to be uh, integration minus infinity to plus infinity x square e to the power minus 2 alpha x square dx right so again we'll use this formula x to the power uh, in minus in integration minus infinity to plus infinity x to the power n e to the power minus dx square dx right so this is going to be 
v is going to be mod a square upon 2 m omega square okay and this value will put so this is going to be uh, gamma 2 plus 1 by 2 okay upon uh, 2 alpha to the power 2 plus 1 upon 2 right this is the value now directly we'll so we will solve, we'll solve it and we will put the value of L A and this value is going to be m omega square upon A alpha. Very easy calculation you can do. It, okay. So this is uh, this is the B. So just due to this gamma three by two, we know one by two into root five and this is to uh, root two alpha to the power three by two and mod A square is two alpha upon pi to, uh, pi to the pi to the power one by two. If you solve it, then you are going to get this. Okay, so m omega square upon m omega square upon eight alpha square. Okay, well, so this is the now we have got potential energy and uh, kinetic energy, right? So, so this is good. Now, now we write total energy of harmonic oscillator. Okay, so total energy of harmonic oscillator is going to be that is E is going to be kinetic energy plus potential energy okay so this is going to be uh, alpha h cut square upon 2m plus m omega square upon 8 alpha okay now uh, for minimum energy we know that is del e this is the total energy okay del e uh, del e upon del alpha is going to be zero for getting value of yeah, for, for value of alpha right for minimum energy del e upon del uh, del e upon uh, del alpha del e upon del alpha is going to be zero right so we'll differentiate it with this, with respect to alpha so it means it is going to be uh, it is going to be we'll differentiate it so it is going to be uh, it is going to be we'll differentiate, uh, differentiate with this with, with respect to this okay so this is going to be h cut square upon 2m and this is going to be minus m omega square 8 alpha square equal to 0 right it, 1 upon alpha alpha to the power minus 1 if we differentiate this then we got this value okay well and now uh, from here right from here we will get the value of alpha and that alpha value is going to be uh, m omega upon 2 h cut okay this is the uh, value of Alpha. This is equation one, right? Okay. Equation equation two. Okay. So m omega upon two two h cut. Now what we'll do? We'll do we'll put the value of this in this equation. Okay. Value of alpha in equation two. So this is going to be uh, h cut upon two m into alpha, right? This h cut square upon two m. Okay. H cut square upon two m. And alpha value is m omega upon 2 h cut, okay, plus this value uh, m omega, m omega. So, what we are do doing, we are putting the value of alpha in equation 2, okay, m omega, m omega square upon 8 alpha, m omega square upon 8 alpha, uh, 8, and value of alpha is, we will put, and this is going to be m omega upon. 2 h cut right we will solve it that is the uh, energy okay and the energy is going to be from 2 okay this is energy so energy value is going to be ground state energy we solve it and this value is going to be This value is going to be so solve it. So this is half h cut omega. Okay. So in this way we uh, we find the value of ground state energy by variational method. Okay. Uh, it's a lengthy process, but uh, we should know it. Okay. Because uh, there are many questions we can easily solve by variational method. Okay. So this is the one. Okay. So what we have done is we first we have uh, found the total uh, energy expectation value of total energy. Right. And then we have made and we have differentiated that with respect to alpha 
that is the uh, variational parameter and found the value of alpha and, and then we put uh, this value in the uh, uh, in the expectation value of energy total uh, total energy right and we've got this so ground state energy of harmony oscillator is half s plus omega this is the answer which we know that already right because i have already uh, taught harmony oscillator well guys now we are going to solve the next question this is lengthy question guys okay so i would request you revise it and uh, and practice it okay next question is question number Two, that is asked in CSIR net. CSIR net. It's a CSI, uh, CSIR net PYQ. Okay. Question is calculate, calculate ground state energy, calculate ground state energy using variational, using variational using variational method using variational method with trial function trial function is given, given okay with with trial function with trial function psi x equal to root 15 upon 16 a to the power 5 a square minus x square okay in 1d infinite potential and uh, vx equal to potential and potential box and whose energy, uh, energy is given that is 0 if mod x is between less than a means uh, a is between minus a to plus a okay mod x uh, uh, less than equal to a okay and uh, and this value is infinite if mod x greater equal to a okay so this is the given okay we have to find out ground state energy using variational method when trial function is given okay and uh, so now we are going to solve this the trial function is normalized function guys okay this is normalized rate function okay so i'll solve it okay options are also given so options are option a is 5 h cut square 5 h cut square upon 4 m a square 4 m a square option b is 4 h cut square upon 3 m a square 3 m a square option c is 3 h cut square upon 2 m a square and option d is 15 h cut square upon 16 m a square okay so these are the, the these are the options which is given okay very good question i'm going to solve it so we have been given psi. Psi is given. Psi is given. That is uh, root fifteen upon sixteen a to the power five. Okay, and uh, a square minus x square. This is normalized function. Normalized wave function. Okay. So now. We will find expectation value of E, right? And uh, that is going to be that is going to be E equal to, right? This is going to be integration uh, because uh, here potential energy is given, right? Which is between uh, value is 0 uh, when x is between minus a to plus a okay so mod x less than a okay okay so this is going to be minus a to a minus a to a because potential energy is zero guys okay so kinetic energy is going to be the total energy right so and the limit is going to be minus between minus a to plus a okay so this is going to be this one 
root 15 and this uh, uh, this this first I'll write, uh, write it okay psi psi star psi dx right so this is going to be uh, root this one okay so this is root 15 upon root 15 upon 16 a, a to the power 5 into root 15 upon 16 a to the power 5 is going to be 15 upon 16 a to the power 5 okay and integration minus a to plus a and this is going to be uh, a square minus x square into kinetic energy right kinetic energy is minus h square square upon 2m del square upon del x square into a square minus x square right so just put the value okay and okay, plus kinetic of uh, potential energy be equal to zero right this is given here so we don't need to write this okay so this one and dx okay so we'll take this outside so this is going to be next page i'm going to write so the total energy is going to be e equal to uh, 15 upon 16 a to the power 5 into h cut square upon 2m we have taken common okay and uh, this is minus we have taken common okay this one so it is going to be integration minus infinity to plus infinity and this is a square minus x square a square minus x square into will differentiate it two times okay this expression two times is going to be uh, minus a is going to be zero this is 2x and again uh, this is 2 right minus 2 this value is going to be minus 2 dx minus 2 will come here and then minus minus will be plus okay so this is going to be uh, 15 to the 30 h cut square upon 16 a to the power 5 16 a to the power 5 okay and this is uh, and into 2m and this is going to this will integrate it and an integration limit is minus a to plus a okay apologies this is minus a to plus a so a square minus this integration we know that is that is going to be a x minus uh, a x minus x cube upon a square x upon x cube upon 3 right and elevate minus a to plus a right so e is going to be we calculate it so this 30 h cut square upon uh, 16 uh, to the this is going to be so 2 will cancel this one okay so this is going to be 15 h cut we have uh, cancelled 2 cancel 30 by 2 so this is 15 h cut square upon 16 a to the power 5 into a square uh, this is going to be We'll put the value so this is going to be a a cube a cube a cube minus a cube by 3 plus a cube minus a cube by 3 right we'll take a cube uh, the common so this is going to be value of e is going to be this one This is going to be uh, minus 15 upon 16 a to the power 5 m is also there m and this is going to be 2 a cube minus 2 a cube by 3 right because these are minus minus okay so this value is going to be 15 or 2 will take common okay and 2, uh, and 2 will get cancelled 16 uh, by right a to the power 5 and this is going to be m a cube we have taken common right this is going to be uh, a to the power 5 m a 
एच टू वी हैव टेकन कॉमन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एट हम डायरेक्टली राइट में ओके एट इट इज पावर फाइव एम ए क्यूब वी हैव टेकन कॉमन टू ए क्यूब वी हैव टेकन कॉमन सो वन माइनस वन बाई थ्री एंड इफ यू सॉल्व इट दिस वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव एच एच स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर एम ए स्क्वायर ओके फाइव एच एच स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर एम ए स्क्वायर एंड दिस इज द आंसर विच ऑप्शन इज मैचिंग गाइज लेट मी चेक ऑप्शन ए इज मैचिंग गाइज ओके सो ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट फाइव एच एच स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर एम ए स्क्वायर फाइव एच एच स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर एम ए स्क्वायर ओके वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गाइज ओके these are the lengthy questions guys but easy one just a uh, i would say uh, integration okay long integration okay question number 3 is ground state energy ground state energy ground state ground state energy of attractive ground state energy of attractive dirac delta dirac delta potential dirac delta potential that is vx equal to minus v delta x okay so this is the drag delta uh, function okay so ground state energy of attractive drag delta potential and vx equal to minus v delta x okay is calculated is calculated uh, using is calculated using is calculated is calculated using variational method variational using variational method variational method with trial function with trial function psi x equal to a cos Phi x upon two a, a cos phi x upon two a. When mod x is less than a, means uh, mod x uh, a is between minus a and plus a. Okay, and zero when uh, mod x greater than a. Okay, this is the trial function and this is the drag delta. uh potential attractive drag delta potential is given okay and uh, so you need to find out uh, you need to find out ground state energy of attractive drag delta potential okay is calculated using variational method trial function is given okay so we need to calculate it okay so so i'll solve it so first we have been given vx that is uh, that is given minus b delta x drag delta function okay now uh, wave function is given wave function is given we will normalize the wave function okay this is the wave function given right psi equal to a cos phi x upon 2a okay so normalization of wave function and uh, we know okay normalization so it is going to be integration minus infinity to plus infinity first we will normalize the wave function if wave function is not normalized guys in these questions uh, for making our calculation simple okay so this is going to be psi star psi dx equal to 1 right this this is the normalization condition so minus infinity to plus infinity integration and the psi star value is uh, this we know right uh, This is mod a square cos phi x upon two a, okay, and the value is this minus b psi. Okay, so here this we are just normalizing, right? So we don't need to write this. This is 
i square dx right this one equal to one so solve it further so this is going to be mod a square will take uh, common and this is going to be minus a uh, to a and this is cos square pi right cos square pi by 2 cos 2 square theta minus 1 right from there we can uh, write we can get the value of cos square uh, 2 pi upon 2 pi x upon 2a right cos pi x upon 2a right cos square pi x upon 2a so this is we know equal to 1 cos 2x equal to cos square x minus 1 okay 2 cos square x minus 1 so from using this identity we got this and uh, this is a uh, even function right so we can uh, change the limit right so this is uh, uh, we can uh, break the limit so we can do like 0 to a and uh, 1 by 2 my apologies it will 2 2 okay 2 into uh, into cos 2 pi x upon 2a plus 1 2a plus 2a 2 pi x upon 2a upon 2 dx equal to 1 2 2 will get cancelled so this value is going to be a square and this we integrate of cos square uh, integration is sine and sine zero, sine pi is going to be because 2 2 will get cancelled a will get cancelled sine pi is 0 right this value is going to be 0 very simple integration and this value is going to be a right so this is going to be uh, a right so so this, that implies value of a or mod a is going to be uh, 1 upon root 1 upon a root 1 upon a or we can write 1 upon root a okay so this is the value of a from here value of a okay so the now we have got the normalized wave function we have normalized the wave function okay okay so now we'll find kinetic that first uh, that kinetic energy for this kinetic energy and this is going to be normalized wave function 1 upon a because it is 1 upon root right so this is mod a square is going to be uh, mod a square is going to be value is 1 upon a okay so this is 1 upon a and i'm going to write directly minus a upon a and cos n pi x upon 2a my apologies this is pi x upon 2a right these are pi x upon 2a yeah. pi x upon 2a pi x upon 2a and this kinetic energy means h square square upon 2m del upon del x square right into cos pi x upon 2a dx right so this is going to be value of t is going to be 1 upon a uh, this will will break the limit because this is cos right so this is going to be 2 into 0 to a we have uh, broken the limit okay so this is going to be we can write like this so this is cos pi x upon my apology so this is this is going to be cos pi x upon okay and uh, this will take common writing it again I have taken uh, h squared minus h squared square upon 2 m a I have taken common and uh, into 2 uh, break uh, broke, uh, broke the limit so 0 to a okay and this is cos pi x upon 2 a and we, I will differentiate in 2 times right so this is going to be uh pi square upon 4a square and si uh, cos uh, in differentiation of cos x is going to be sin x minus sin x then cos x right so this is going to be minus cos pi x upon 2a dx 
okay so this is simple differentiation guys okay so this is going to be minus minus is going to be plus 2 2 will get cancelled okay and uh, this is going to be h cut square alpha h cut square pi square okay we have common and this is uh, 8 ma square 8 ma square is it's going to be 2 to the 4 right 4 4 to the 8 4 to the 8 okay and uh, and this value is going to be this is again 0 to a and this is cos square pi square cos square pi x of so 2 is also there okay so now we will uh, differentiate it again uh, so we will uh, integrate it so again by using uh, cos, two, uh, cos 2x formula right and this value is going to be simple integration and this value is going to be uh, a by 2 okay so a will get cancelled so this value is going to be x cut square pi square upon uh, I will write it that will be better okay. H squared square into 2 upon 8 ma square into a by 2 this value 2 2 will get cancelled and this value is going to be h squared square pi square upon uh, 8 ma square 8 ma square okay 8 ma square well so value of t is going to be This one okay. Pi square x squared square upon 8 m square x squared square pi square upon 8 m square. Now we'll find uh, this one potential energy okay. Expectation value of potential energy right which is x function of x under this we know this is going to be 1 upon a integration minus a to a and this is. Uh, cos cos pi x upon 2a into minus b delta x into cos pi x upon 2a dx right because we know there uh, psi this we know right v is going to be integration minus b to a psi star psi psi star and the Dirac delta function that is minus b delta x right or we I can write v psi star v psi dx right so we will put the value it's a very simple integration of Dirac delta right so this is going to be 1 upon a we will break the limit so uh, b will, uh, will will take common so we are going to B is constant, right? So minus B upon A will be common into 2, 0 to A, right? And this is cos square pi x upon 2A dx, right? So this value is going to be A, uh, a by 2, right? So this is the one, and uh, there, there is delta, tag delta, guys, okay? So this is drag delta x minus 0 we can write right x minus x minus 0 dx okay and uh, we we know this property drag delta property 0 exists between uh, 0 to a right so we can write so this means uh, we will put uh, 0 here value of 0 right so we are using the drag delta property. So this is minus b upon a. Uh, so there, uh, okay. So here you don't you don't need to break the limit. So it will remain as it is because we are using the drag delta function, right? So zero is between minus a to a. So we can write b upon a cos zero, right? Cos zero is one. X will put zero, so cos zero is one. So this is minus b upon okay so now total energy is going to be these are lengthy questions guys okay 
calculations are lengthy. So, the total energy is going to be this one. Uh, h squared square pi square upon 8 ma square plus uh, this one this minus b upon a right minus b upon a minus b upon a okay so now for parameter what we what you are going to do is del e upon del e upon del what is the parameter here uh, the parameter is k right del e upon del e equal to 0 okay this is the parameter so with respect to a okay well so, so this means del upon del a will differentiate this okay so this is going to be this is going to be pi uh, h square square pi square upon minus a m a cube right after differentiation because a square differentiation of 1 upon a square is this and this is going to be uh, minus minus plus b upon a square equal to 0 right so this value is going to be now so this is uh, from here we can get the value of a and value of a is going to be value of a is going to be this is h square square pi square upon 4 mb 4 mb now value of b we are going to put in equation 1 value of a okay so putting equation the value of uh, putting value of a in equation 1 so this equation is then the energy is going to be this is pi square h square square upon m 8m this is a square is this value okay h square square pi square h square square pi square upon 4mb 4mb this whole square right m a square plus uh, b plus b right so we will write minus sorry minus b this is the b here minus b upon a so this is going to be minus b upon a value will write h square square pi square upon 4 m b okay so we will solve it so e is going to be very simple calculation this is going to be minus 2 uh, m b square upon pi square h square square okay so this value is minus 2 m b square upon pi square h square square okay is there options given in this question? Options are not given. Okay, so right. So this is the answer, guys. Okay. So this is the answer. So 2 m b square upon pi square h square square, guys. Okay. So and uh, the, there is a negative sign because uh, this is Dirac delta, ground state energy of Dirac delta. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the answer. So this is about the variational method guys, uh, so in next lecture we are going to study WKB uh, method, okay, and I am sure soon uh, quantum mechanics is going to be completed, then I uh, will start uh, condensed matter physics, okay. Okay guys, uh, before ending the uh, class, I would request the students who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and watch my free live lectures which are going to help you to crack the exams related to physical science. Okay guys, thank you so much. Bye now.